Oh my gosh, you guys. I love how I start every video with cleaning up my workspace. But today, we are gonna play with something fun. So this lady, Anna, I think her name is, reached out to me and she said, do you want to get some stuff to make wax seals? And she's from Caspryer.com and I said, yeah, of course. I have wanted to do this, um, not necessarily for letters. I guess it could be cute for letters, but for my mixed media more than that. And so um, she sent me some stuff. So this is metallic color pen. So I think this is silver and this is gold. I already peeked at this because this is the thing you make the, the schnudgy with. So this is a butterfly. Yay. And then I think this little thing is like the, uh, like this little tiny cooker pot. And we are going to use fire in today's demo. This isn't actually a demo because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. This is actually, oh, it's a little heart. So functionally, we're going to, we need a tea light candle. I understand the concept of this, but I've never done it and I've been wanting to do it. Um, but honestly, it would probably be lower on my list of um, things to buy. So I was really excited when she asked if I wanted to have it because I was like, yeah. And then she sent me all these cool envelopes. So look, a brown one. Hello, my friend. Best wishes. Now, you know I am going to be putting these into my... Um, junk journals and, and journaling things. But for right now, I don't want to do that. I want to make, um, so first off, we're just going to do one, right? Like whenever you're trying something new, fire. Um, were there directions? I don't know that there are directions. I think probably because it's pretty, pretty easy. Okay, so we got these guys. So let's see what we got. We got, these are little wax melty things. So I think that I probably want this to be, I'm gonna make blue first, cause I don't really like blue on, on, on this. Okay, what color don't we like? Maybe this brown? Okay, we're gonna do brown first. Brown, oh, that's black, I like black. Okay, there's another brown. That's kind of a, maybe not brown, brown. Okay, there's brown. Let's start with three and see what happens. All right, I got my old lady glasses on so I can see things. I don't think that's the right way to do this. I use candles a lot in my house, but I have to be careful because I'm not a big smeller. So, um, sometimes things happen with candles that I don't anticipate. So, let's get this over here. Boop, boop, boop. And we're going to let it melt. So, I would say it's been about a minute, and we got our first melty bits around the edge. You probably can see it better than I can. And they're starting to go. All right, it's been about two minutes, and they're melty. Look, they're melting in like a... Is my head in the way? They're melting in like a pattern. Two lighter browns and a brown. So you know people have done this for hundreds of years. I'm feeling a little bit like Robin Hood, you know, made Mary and send in a letter. Okay, we're gonna move it. It doesn't feel very liquidy yet. It feels like it's melted, but not liquidy. The stuff in the middle looks liquidy. Ooh, that kind of made it look a little bit more liquidy. All right, we're gonna give it a second more because I don't think you benefit by cooking it. I think it's just when it gets liquidy, then you do it, right? As if we know what we're doing. Okay, we're gonna try it. Can we pour it out? Boop. Okay. 
Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so there's a circle. Let's put this thing on it. Now, see, I don't want huge seals. You'll see a lot of times where there's like a huge blob. Ouch, that's hot. Don't touch that. Okay, can't touch this. Okay, let's do another one. Let's melt that while we're waiting. I'm going to put different colors in this time. I'm going to do four this time. You want to put a metallic one in there too? Let's try that. Oh, this is fun. All right, I don't know how long you sit with this on here. I assume once this dries, it will come off, right? And stick to the paper. We'll just leave it there for a second till we're ready to do this one. Okay, so now let's go with what I'm really trying to do. Let's move the fire around. Ow, it's hot. <sighs> really? I saw the cutest thing on the internet the other day that said, here we are all grown up with no supervision all the time. And I thought, oh my God, that is my life. Okay, so we're cooking things. So we got this cooking. We got, I'm gonna play with this one. Let's see, oh, that worked fine. Once it's dry, it does great. All right, so first off, let's see if we can peel it off a of paper. You can't really peel it off of paper and there's kind of a, there's definite, oh, <laughs> I betcha I know why they sent us pens, right? Hold on. So I think you do this, right? Look at that. And then you can really see it in there. Oh, that is kind of cool. So this is not one I would ever use. This isn't really a color I use in my artwork. Um, I think I think this one where we're getting a little bit of the um, metallic and the, the lighter one, but I'm still just trying stuff. So let's talk about what this is. This is a silicone cooking mat. You can get them like three for $7 at um, Amazon. I'm sure you can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond, those types of places. Ooh, I'm dating myself. I hope it doesn't go out of business. But I don't want it to stick to paper. I wanna be able to use these in my artwork randomly. So I, oh, hold on, let's see. Does that rub off? Okay, so it rubs off a little bit. Okay, so it rubs off a little bit, but you're still gonna be able to see it, which is my point that I need. Okay, four is looking like more liquid in here. Can you see that? I'm gonna push it with this, because I'm not stupid, and I burnt my, well, I didn't burn myself, I just, it just was an owie. Okay, who said it would be okay to play with fire on a, it's Monday morning, Monday morning. My life is really cool. It is Labor Day, so it's not like I'm just playing around on a normal day. I really like that kind of rose color in there. I don't care for the brown. The lighter color is kind of cool. Now, I wonder if we're going to get kind of a, a modeled version of this. This is interesting. I'm glad you came to my play date. Is my head in the way? I'm just watching it melt. I'll edit it out so if my head's in the way, you don't have to watch this. But I want to see it too. It's my game. All right, it's looking melty. You want to touch it? Do we want to touch it yet? I think we got to wait until that brown spot goes away. Ooh, this is cool. It's kind of like watching um, the continents move, right? You can see a little movement, but not all that much. All right, let's move it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I think it's melty. You wanna try it? Let's try it. 
So we're gonna dump it out. Oh, we got a bigger dump. Oh, that's cool. Okay, here we go. Smush. And then I think we just leave it, right? Oh, I wish I could smush in the middle better. Nope, we just leave it. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit, right? Ooh, let's, uh, well, see, my, my question is, ooh, could we make, let's make another pretty one in red. And then I think I have to cool it off, dig it out to do a different color, right? I kind of like what that what was happening there. We got some left. Oops, I missed. So let's throw a pink in there. All right. I kind of feel like this is the kind of project that's brown. So I only got two black ones. Oh, all right. I'm going to have to make black and silver together because I think that's brown. That's brown. Ooh, what about we have gold ones like, bro okay, so that's more bronzy. Those are goldy. These are kind of metallic, shiny. I love those. So anyways, when I was on the website looking at stuff, you can kind of pick um, the mix you get, right? So now that I have this little uh, warmer dealy, is this cool? Ooh, it feels like it's cool. Hold on. Okay, we got it off of there. That worked perfectly. Can we get it off of here? Oh, there it goes. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so let's let's color it. All right, I am for sure going to be using wax seals in my artwork because look at this. Okay, so the next thing I want to try is while we're waiting. Oh, that guy's melted already. Ooh, I wonder if once it gets going and you put like Welty, Ma Ma Welty Max, Melty Wax into other wax. Okay, so this time, so this is a cool one that I'm just going to leave like this. But I want to be able to um, take my crocodile and punch it through. So I'm going to do it kind of towards the end. Is this melty? That's definitely melty. Oh my gosh, I could set up a little assembly line of meltiness. Okay, let's make it longer down here. Okay, I'm going to put this over here because it's a silicone mat. It's fine. And I'm going to put it so there's like a bubble at the end. There we go. I think you get one shot at it, right? All right, we're going to let that melt. Look, you can see all of the... This is cool. But I want this to melt out. I wonder if I just warm it up and melt it out. Melty blob. Let's warm this up. Because I want to go to a different color. I love that metallic in there. Will that come out? <laughs> no. You gotta give it a second. And I cooled off my melty spoon, right? Okay, this is kind of thick over here. So we're gonna get it a, give it an extra second. What does this one feel like? It's like this is very cool. All right, let's glue. Let's glue it to something and see if it works to glue. What do we have? I have a thousand things I could glue it to. Let's see, a red thing. Do I have anything red? I'm working on this right now. We want to try to glue it on this page. Where is the other pages like this? Oh, yay. Okay, I was working on this page using, um, oh, this is perfect. 
Yes, I have just half done pages sitting around. Okay, so we are going to try, oh, yeah. Ooh, could we put a little glue around, a little wax around the edge of this page? Why not? Why waste it? Let's see what we can do. I definitely don't think this is what you're supposed to do. Okay. So now let's do, let's let this cool and see if we can get that wax out of there once it's cool. Okay. And I would definitely recommend, just from having played around like this, I would definitely recommend having something heat stable underneath it because if I was putting this all on my glass, I would be really concerned, even though it's tempered glass, I would be really concerned about putting a super hot um, like point onto my tempered glass. So anyways, let's see if we can get this thing to glue down. I am using Nuvo glue, which is my glue for everything. If this doesn't work, my next try would be Tim Holtz um, collage glue. So if you have that, you could try that too. Okay, we're gonna get a fair bit on there because I'm gonna need a lot of coverage. We're gonna put it right up in this spot up here. Ooh, it feels like it's sticking, but it's wax, right? So I wanna see if it works. We're gonna let that dry. I bet you this thing's ready. Let's feel it. Oh, it's cool. Okay, let's pull it up. Let's pull it off. Okay, I don't wanna pull off the part that's skinny. There we go. As you're pulling it, you can almost hear and feel the seal of it sitting on there being broken. And um, I think you can order more of these little, like you only need one handle. This is metal. This is heavy, heavy metal um, to, to squish the seal. Um, but I think you can order more of these, so I'm going to have to order more of those. I think this is just a marketing ploy to get me to buy more stuff. Okay, so I have my crocodile. Is it gonna fit in this crocodile? Let's see, oh, it fits in there fine. Okay, so we want, I'm gonna make a little mark on here. I'm gonna make it with, I kinda need white paint. Do I have white paint? Oh, I have white paint right there. Okay, so I wanna make a mark where I want this to be. Right there. Right there. And I don't know if you have a crocodile, but you can see through that little hole. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna get all the white paint in the punch out area. Oh, well gosh. I thought that was gonna be a big old project, but it's not. So now I can, if this gluey thing doesn't work, right? I can, is this cold? Oh, it's cold. All right, I'm thinking I should be able to peel. Okay, I have a real squirrel problem, like whatever comes to mind I like to do. I think this is why nobody's ever invited me to be a demonstrator. <laughs> Come demonstrate things, just do random bits. Okay, that is hard to get out, so let's, it's not like I don't have tools. Let's see what happens. All right, I kind of got it started with my fingernail. I think I sh should be able to. If I was gonna guess, I would guess I would use a kitchen knife for this. Um, because hmm. <laughs> that red's going to be in there. I guess maybe you have to accept that you're going to have a transition piece, 
right? You're gonna have a transition part of this. Um, okay, so I have, oh, there they are. There's another one. Okay, so I have this one. Let's, I wanted to show you what I was planning on doing with this. Nope, right there, see there? There's like a little empty spot. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so this page isn't done yet, right? So I'm gonna put a hole kind of right there, and I can make this a smaller hole. Okay, now I have a hole in here. There's my hole, right? And this is gonna be on the corner, so hold on. I just grabbed a bunch of brads. We're gonna pick one of these. I need one with a longish, so this is too little. This will go down like that. I almost worry will go down through that hole, although it seems okay, but I'm thinking I want a bigger brad up here. There we go. That's black, it kind of goes with my theme. And then you just splay this out. So if you can't find glue that you can use, you can use a brad to hook that on. Oh, I love that. That's very cool. Oh, I'm a little obsessed now. Oh, but remember it doesn't look like that much because we have to color the gold on the butterfly. Hold on, let me move this up so you can see this. Let's start melting something else. Um, so red and purple, do we have purple? We have purple, so red and blue make purple. So if we put purple in here, I should get a more reddish color of purple. And I don't think three was enough, I think four is the number. Okay, so let's, let's color this. And this is super easy to color. Like there is a lip and this, whatever pen this is, metallic color pen, goes right on that lip and it doesn't really sink into the other bits. All right, I'm gonna turn it. I think I got a little gold. I don't mind having a little gold on there. Okay, and I already have gold in here, so this to me feels like it makes sense. Now, let me get my glue, and I'm gonna try to glue this down, because even though it's a brad, I would rather it wasn't sticking up. So I'm putting a fair bit of glue under there. Let's see if we can get that in to stick down. We'll move this over here. So I am for sure gonna be making is that heavy enough? That's not heavy enough. There we go. Um, I for sure am going to be making a whole bunch of these to make hangy danglos. Let's try our glue. Let's see what's happening. Because we're going to have an idea. Oh, this is gluing down just fine. I think this this will be just fine. And we know that, oh, does the, the gold doesn't come off. The silver came off. So that is holding just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these. I'll show you what I have at the end. So this is cooled down. I turned it off a little bit ago. And I want to talk about my process. Look, there's, oh, those are just actually strings, not hairs, thank goodness. Okay, so first off, if you don't have, I think this was three, I think you need at least four and maybe a bit of the last one. Um, so it's gonna be four of these nubbies. This kit that they sent me came with the stand, the dabby thing, which I'm almost thinking I want another one of those, maybe to have cool colors and warm colors or metallics and non-metallics, um, and this thing. So stuff I'm probably gonna get. The heads are about $6, but I saw a really cool Halloween one that was like an eyeball one. 
um, that they were on sale for like four fifty. Now none of these prices is you know guaranteed or whatever, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how much it would cost to do it. There were a hundred, I think, ninety nine percent sure. I counted them and there were like fifty left. Um, of these colors, you can get two hundred dollar ceiling, two hundred piece ceiling set where I think you get some of this, like you get this or something. Or just the beads, three hundred for eighteen fifty nine. Okay, so let's talk about um, the colors. So when I started this, I was like, "Oh, here, let's go back to our ones." Okay. So this I thought was just up, but maybe it wasn't. This is stuck on just fine. So Nouveau Glue for sure will stick a seal on there. Um, I don't, I like them, fl well, I guess it's about as thick, right? It's kind of what you get. I like them a little thinner. You can kind of spread them out when you're pouring the wax. I got better at pouring the wax, I think. Um, these two are perfect for putting a little hole in a brad in like I did here, which I love. These guys... Oh, this one, I wanted to tell you, I didn't mind which, I didn't pay attention to which way this was up. So this has a big enough hole, but my butterfly would be upside down, right? So you just look when you're putting it down. I know that's probably common sense, but I didn't do it. Um, I love this one. So let's talk about this one. I started this process thinking I just wanted one color seals. Like that would be my jam and i don't know why i have all these colors and how am i going to get the colors out of the the thing and i'm here to tell you that having the multitude of colors in it is just so pretty um i don't know how well you can see the colors in this but there's a little bit of metallic there's some pink there's like a sage green and then a burgundy in there and it is stunning this one is two colors is like a teal blue and then that sage not quite the same sage green right because i think what happened is more of the bronze got in this one with the green so you can kind of see it there oh it's stuck um this one has a hint of purple and this one is all purple and blue, right? So this is not my color scheme, but I do have that page in my abstract art journal that this might go with. So who could use these? I'm gonna use these in my mixed media. I think they're amazing. I also think the junk journal girls, like could you imagine including these in your junk journals? Even if you included them just as a little extra embellishment, this gets pretty hot, so I don't think you can just melt it. I think that they're pretty heat stable once they're done. Okay, this guy, let's tear him off. When he comes off, he does take a bit, he color discolors the paper and takes a bit of the paper off. So I don't know that I would be putting them on and taking them off. And then last but not least, this is why I'm recommending a silicone pad. Look at this. You just want to peel, you can just peel it off a silicone pad. Silicone pads are amazing if you're doing anything with heat or anything like that. So I think this turned out amazing. I have to leave you now to go order some more heads and um, maybe another one of these. I, I truly just think they sent these to me so that I would buy more stuff. So I love it. And Josiah was even here and he's like, what you doing? And I said, well, I'm making seals. And he's like, that's kind of cool. So it's even 13-year-old boy approved. So hopefully that helps. Artsy fartsy life.